Hi, welcome to our Barnes Zenig Ask the Expert series. I'm Dan Schlachter, a manager here at Barnes Zenig, and I'm here with Harold Kramer, leader of our exit planning team here at Barnes Zenig. So Harold, what is exit planning? That's a good question, Dan. I, uh, I just finished a, a course uh, offered by the Exit Planning Institute. Um, in that course, they, uh, they use a three-legged stool as a way of describing exit planning. Um, the three legs are business, personal, and financial. And if you think about it, a stool is even when all three legs are given equal attention. Um, sometimes what we see is business owners tend to focus on the business leg of the stool as opposed to all three legs equally, um, causing the stool to be lopsided. So exit planning allows us to help kind of even out the stool, help them focus on all three legs at the same time. Um, it also allows us to add new perspectives uh, for each of the legs. You know, for instance, um, in, the, in the business leg of the stool, um, the business owner may be very focused on profits or tax savings. Um, we can help them look at value and how they can accelerate value and maximize their exit. That's great. And uh, I saw you recently just passed your CEPA exam to become a certified exit planning advisor. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dan. That was a, uh, it was a good course. I, uh, I learned a lot during the course, um, met a lot of good people. Um, and, uh, you know, what it really did was help me um, understand personal and business goals and, and what they can be and, and really see what business owners um, view as success. Well, as you know, I'm a business valuation expert. Uh, you're, a, you're a great member of our valuation team. And, um, uh, but I've been doing this for 25 years and um, love valuation. It's my passion. It's what I really enjoy doing. Um, but for a lot of valuation projects, we prepare evaluation, we communicate the valuation, and then it ends. You know, we've, we've done with that project. Um, with exit planning, we prepare evaluation, communicate the valuation, and then build on that valuation, advise on that valuation. We use that as a base um, and then set goals based on that valuation. So, so it just allows us to do so much more in the valuation space. Uh, that it's uh, it's exciting. Absolutely. So when should a business owner contact you to start the exit planning process? R really anytime. It, you know, it's uh, it'd be great if they did it early in their ownership spectrum, um, just, just so they could kind of understand value and understand goals um, from both the personal side and the business side uh, and the financial side, you know, all three legs of the stool, so to speak. Um, so, so the earlier, the better. Uh, that being said, the Exit Planning Institute suggests three to five years is the best timing. Um, uh, but, you know, on the flip side, if someone contacted me today and said, hey, I've got a health issue or, or a, whatever, a change in, in attitude or whatever, and, and I want out in a year, we'll do what we can to help them understand value and maximize their exit. So how does a business owner go through this process and keep things confidential so employees might not know exactly everything that's going on? Um, confidentiality is very important to business owners, we have found. Um, so we do everything we can to be discreet during the process. Uh, anything a business owner shares with us is, is kept at the highest level of uh, security and confidentiality. You know, we can, we can promise that. Um, you know, and, but as, uh, business owner will find as we start working with them, you know, we encourage communication to, especially at first, you know, kind of the, uh, the key management group, because um, they're going to be important in this whole process. You know, as, as we're discussing building value and, and doing different things with the company than have done before, helping change their goals, they're going to need the support of that key management group. So, you know, we, we encourage communication uh, especially at that group, pretty early on in the process. Now, when you say exit, are you referring to the sale of a business to an outside investor? 
you know, really exit transactions uh, fall into two categories. One is an outside transaction. Um, outside transactions can be a sale to an outside investor, like you just mentioned. Uh, it might be to a private equity group. Uh, you know, private equity groups are sitting on a lot of money right now and they're looking for good opportunities. So that, that becomes a good exit option. The other exit option that's uh, kind of an outside transaction is with other businesses. So maybe it's a complementary business to yours, or maybe it's even a competitor that uh, would be interested in, in merging with you or, or acquiring you at some point, and that is an outside uh, option. Uh, then the other type of exit transaction is an inside transaction. Uh, inside transactions are things like selling to an ESOP, a, an employee stock ownership plan that's owned by all of your employees. Um, usually leverage with bank financing. Um, that's, that's becoming a more popular inside option. Uh, another inside option is selling to a key manager or that management group that we talked about. And then a last, uh, last option that we see a lot in family businesses is a sale to that next generation within the family. So it sounds like there's a few different roles here. Do you specifically do all of that? I, uh, I don't, I couldn't. It's a, it's a, it's a big job and it, it requires a lot of different skill sets. Um, so that's why you know, we've built a team here that can help through this whole exit planning process. The first stage of the exit planning process is the discover phase. So, so during that phase is when we assess the three legs of the stool, the, the business, the personal, the, the financial. Um, the business being first is what I'll talk about. Um, that's when we bring in a business valuation team and assess what's the current value of this business, just to set a base value uh, that we can build on and build goals off of. So, so that, that involves our valuation team. Uh, then at the same time, like I said, we're looking at the, the personal financial side and, and for that, we will bring in our wealth management team and they can assess what resources or investments a business owner has outside of the, uh, the business. So, um, you know, that's the first phase and, and involves two, two of the big groups here. Um, later in the process, we use other folks within Barnes Denig, like our, our M&A or merger and acquisition specialists and our, and our tax consulting specialists uh, to help structure transactions or think about what, what an exit transaction might look like to benefit them. And then outside of, of everyone within Barnes Denig, we've also built a network of, of various providers like attorneys, bankers, uh, business brokers, um, and other advisors who are part of the process. And um, we trust them and, and we bring them in uh, as, as they're needed. So is there anything else you think we should know about exit planning? I, I would say every transaction is unique. Uh, there's, there's no cookie cutter answer to exit planning. Um, so, um, you know, what, what we can help provide is, is perspective on the business path, the personal path. We can help a business owner down those paths to a successful exit. Great, well thanks for your time, Harold, and your insight. If you guys have any questions, please visit our website at barnesthenig.com. Thank you.